In this video we are going to look at the solo of Chang Reinhardt on a song called Dinette. I will show it to you line by line. I will also give you some thoughts how you can use these lines on your improvisations. Okay, let's start. First, let's look at the form of this song. It's in the key of A flat. This song form has 32 bars and it has four sections. Or basically it's A, A, B, A, with each section lasting 8 bars. So 32 bars. This song is based on an older song called Dina, and it has the same chords, only on different key and different melody. Okay, the first A section. This is maybe the most memorable one. This and the start of second A section. You can truly hear how he is developing the melody and telling a story with it. He starts simply with and then he continues keeps developing and comes to some kind of conclusion Then the second A part starts and he continues developing this time higher and then he gives us more bluesy line and this is perfect for preparing us for the strange times that are ahead of us in the B section. And then the B section starts, it goes to F minor, and it starts here. And the ending of this line is really nice chord melody kind of thing. And then comes some relief for us, some diatonic action. But only to drop a bomb of this chord. I'm not 100% sure about this one, because it's really hard to hear, so this might be wrong, but this is what I hear. So it's like uh, E minor major 7th, 11, flat 13. And then comes classic Chang'o. He bangs this chord. It's like E flat 9. It's like he's banging these chords to tell us, let's get back to A section. Okay, we go back to A section. That's brilliant blues line. Remember, at the end of the second A section, before the section B, he did a blues line. <laughs> 
and then when we get back to A section, he starts with the blues line, but it's more twisted as it has some echoes from the strangeness of the B section. This bluesy phrase grounds us really nicely back to the harmony of the A section, but only so Django can take us to another trip on the next phrase. And then comes the final line of the whole solo, which wraps the things up nicely and takes us back to the calm and comfort of our key, without any strangeness, without any dissonance. And then listen how Chang'o continues comping after that. I bet he knew that now something magical happened. Well, it happened to him a lot, but I think this is exceptionally good solo. So brilliant, so much said in only 32 bars. If someone tried to compose a solo for Dinette, it couldn't be done better, I think. Chang'o has also other good solos for this song, but I like this one the most. This is Impro of True Genius. I compare this to masterful painting or poem, where every little detail is part of the bigger composition. And it's made on the spot. It's improvisation. It makes it only more lively and soulful. It captures the essence of jazz music while still being something completely new, something completely unique, something beyond words. Let's get back to what we can learn from this solo. The first thing is the melodic development. Remember the... And so on. The good way of practicing this is just... When you start your solo, play any idea, really simple. Well, that's my idea. That's like a call and response then. That's the whole thing. That's one melody. <laughs> Try doing that. It's composition. On the spot. It's fun. The second thing that I see myself using a lot is this bluesy thing from the end of second A. It's really nice. Let's look at it. It's this D major shape. But here it's A flat major. And then it starts. That's a minor third there. It's really bluesy. And the ending phrase is also really great. There's both minor and major sevenths there. And since it's this really basic shape, triad, it's easy to transpose to different keys. The D. Or G. So try doing that. And also mixing that with other lines. The next thing I'm really thrilled about is this. It's just really useful. It's now in F minor, but you can play it in, say, A minor. In minor swing. Or 
Oh, and... Which brings us to the next thing, this chord movement. Really useful, really beautiful. I could just play only that and it's... randomly really good learn that okay finally I'd like to point out uh, a lick from the ending of the solo I mean really cool way of going outside you can do it in, in D in song like Coquet Always when you are learning licks, when you are transcribing, try to see how they are related to the chords and how they are related to the key of the song or key of the section or key of the chord movement. When I'm learning this, I'm looking at this A, it's A flat 6 9. And I say, ah, oh, it starts here. When you do this, when you relate everything to the chords, then it's much easier to transpose because they are the same shapes all over the guitar. If you play a song like Coquette, it's this shape. Or all of me. And you, you know these licks already, so you can just copy and paste them. But the best way is not to just copy and paste licks, but manipulate them and use them as melodic devices and do some melodic development with using these phrases as your vehicles. It's, it's hard, I'm also just learning to do that. But I think that's a cool way of thinking about it and, you, and useful concept and it makes your playing interesting and melodic. The rest of the solo is also great, but I think these are the concepts that I'm taking with me and that are going to stay with me. I didn't know this solo so well before I started this transcription. Well, I knew the first and the second A section, the melodic parts, because they are so memorable, but the bluesy things and the outside things, they are new for me also. If you got something out from this video, please tell it on the comments, I'd like to hear. This was the first Django solo I transcribed for the YouTube purposes. I think there will be more in the future, but I want to keep the YouTube a casual thing. I don't want to be too tied to making video every week or something. So new videos will come when I feel like it. Now I'm having a good drive. I have lots of cool video ideas, so at least now I'm doing videos. I hope you like them and maybe even subscribe, so you will get noticed when I release new videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.